Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of, yeah, I think it's still everyone's favorite thing. Close your eyes and follow my instructions. This is now, I believe, part five, so if you watch this video and end up really liking it, guess what? There are four more of them out there for you to go take a look at. Um, but yeah, and if this is not your first rodeo, I hope you enjoy this installment just as much as you have the last few. So I've got all my things laid out in front of me once again, and I have all 29, I believe, of my instructions written down, and they are all different from one another and will involve both soft spoken and up close whispering and different noises and triggers and things like that. So, I hope you enjoy. And I hope you fall asleep. And as always, your first instruction is going to be to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close them, close them, close them, close them, close them. Very good. second instruction is an old favorite that I think we all like quite a bit. I'm going to be tracing some words on the microphone and I want you to guess what word I'm tracing. And I'll give you some options. Your first option is The second option is blister. B L I S D R. And the third option is sister. S I S. Go ahead and turn those ears on. Keep your eyes closed. What are you doing? Keep them closed. And let's begin. So, what word was that that I just traced? If you guessed blister or sister, you would be incorrect, I'm afraid. I was tracing history. The next instruction, instruction number three. I have this beautiful flashlight and I want you to tell me which direction this light is coming from and which direction it leaves the screen. Ready? What direction? 
great, okay? How about now? One more. Pass number four. Okay, good. Now a few more. Let's get a little bit faster here. Pass number five. Okay, pass number six. number nine. Okay, good. Great. All right, the next instruction, instruction number four. I have a few math problems for you here. Really simple. Don't worry. And I just want you to answer them for me best you can. So the first one, I have 31 plus 29 31 plus 29 31 plus 29 60 Yes, that was hopefully pretty easy Next, we have five plus twenty-four. Five plus twenty-four. Can you tell me what that is? Twenty-nine. Great. And then our final, final math problem. We're breaking out division. Hopefully you can handle that division. divided by 5 30 divided into 5 groups that is going to equal 6 hopefully you got all of them right and if not, that's okay now number 5 I'm just going to ask you to spell the current month for me not the month that I'm in right now, but whatever month you are currently in. Spell that for me. Okay, good. It's a good month, hopefully. And can you spell the current day that you are currently on right now? As in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Very good. And can you tell me the current approximate time without close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, looking at your phone? Just the approximate time. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. In the next instruction, we're going to be breaking out our first noise of the video. this mister and it's a neat little prop but unfortunately it's a little cheap and it leaks everywhere leak, 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 leak. but it gets the job done I just want you to look in 
the direction that you hear the mister. Okay, very simple. Just look wherever you hear it with your eyes closed. Very good. I have to be very careful and set it down, upside down. Okay. The mic a little bit. A edge right off with my fingers. I think I've misted it a little bit too much. Got it a little wet. That's okay. And now we're going to do another favorite um, that I think really helps get you in the mindset uh, for ASMR. Usually I start off with it, but I threw it in a little bit towards the almost one third point. We're going to be doing some breathing exercises and we're sticking with the tried and true breathe in for four counts. Hold for four counts and then exhale for four counts. And like usual, I'll be talking you through it. Okay, so continue to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, and here we go. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, Front to the second page of instructions. Number eight. Now this is a new one. I'm going to ask you to do something a little bit different. A lot of wonderful, very cool systems um, that help us, you know, be human. And one of these cool things uh, involves the ability 
of our bodies to sense all of our limbs, body parts. Um, and that's why if you close your eyes right now, well, your eyes should be closed now, shouldn't they? But with your eyes closed, you are able to use your pointer fingers and touch your nose without seeing yourself because your body senses where all of your limbs are in space. So I'm going to ask you to concentrate on different parts of your body or sort of move your awareness to those parts, your energy maybe to those parts and just focus on that area of the body. And if for some reason you are missing part of these areas, just uh, focus on your nose. If for some reason you are missing something that I say. The first thing I want you to concentrate on your eyebrows. Your eyebrows. Find your eyebrows on your body with your eyes closed. Find the very, very front of your eyebrows near where your forehead crinkles, right in the middle. And then slowly move that awareness down your eyebrows to the tips near the edges of your face. Very good. The next place I want you to move your energy towards is your left big toe. The big toe on your left side. Find that for me. You can even wiggle it if you want to. doesn't really matter. Just focus on your left big toe. Be specifically on the thumbnail. I want you to move that awareness to your right pinky, the pinky on your right hand. Did you find it? Move your awareness to the very tip of your pinky. The very tip of your pinky. And then slowly move it down very first knuckle of your pinky. And then move it down to the next joint of your pinky. And then all the way down to where it connects with your hand. All the way down. Very good. Two more. So I want you to find the very back of your scalp, the very back of your scalp, right where your hair starts to grow out of your neck, at that very edge. Move all your energy to that area of your body. All your energy to that area. And because we all love massages. You can even imagine that somebody is running their hands up through your scalp in that area. Very good. And the very last place is I want you to focus on both of your ears at the very same time. Both of your ears. Your left one and your right ear. Left and right. Okay, 
let's go ahead and move on to our next instruction. So I'm going to break out a few noises again, and I just want you to tell me which noise is the closest to you. Okay, it's three noises. Which noise sounds the closest? One, two, or three? This is from Ikea Beautiful Cup. They're pretty cheap too. They have a whole set. They're very nice. They come in green. So, if you're interested, they are at Ikea. I have a stoneware cup. Very simple. It's about as plain and simple as you can get for a cup. This is from Williams Sonoma, just a simple white cup. Honestly, I don't recommend them. They get little streaks all over the place. And this. This is a
which order did I tap on them in? It was the stoneware cup and then the porcelain cup instruction number 11 is I'm going to tell you a craft item and then you are going to tell me something that you can make with this craft item any item works okay any item or any craft I put a paper airplane you can make. Next, I have another one where you'll be telling me some things. Uh, I just want you to spell these words for me. We have a little spelling test. The first word is fuchsia. The color. Spell fuchsia for me. The next one is another fun word, nauseous, as in vomiting, nauseous. Good, so the correct spelling is in A. So, 
on this one, I want you to tell me if you have any summer plans. And then I will be typing the summer plans. Ready? Okay, so what are those summer plans? Okay. Okay. Okay, let me switch to the side. Very good, thank you. Those are good plans, good plans. The next instruction is we're gonna break out some noises again, and I want you to tell me how many seconds pass between each of the noises. So I'll do the noise and then stop, and then silence. And then I'll start the next noise. And then I'll stop. And then I'll do the last noise. And I want you to tell me how long those two silences are, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully that was clear-cut enough for you. So between the first and the second noise, that should be about 15 seconds. And between the second and the third noise, that should have been about 10 seconds. But I know sometimes it's hard to distinguish between is she stopping the noise? Is that just a moment of silence? So don't worry about it if you missed it. Now I have the next instruction here 
And now I'm going to say a word and I want you to think of somebody who fits that word, okay? Okay, super easy. The first word is mean. M-E-A-N, mean. Who is mean? It can be somebody that you know personally or a character. Somebody on TV, a celebrity. Good. How about somebody who is kind? Somebody who is kind. Good. Now, how about somebody who is smart? Smart. Who is smart? That you know of. Very good, okay. How about somebody who is young? Young. Y O U N G. Young. Good, okay. And now the opposite. How about somebody? Very good. Okay, and now, how about somebody who's just a little weird? Just a little weird, a little weird. Very good. Great. Next instruction, instruction number 16. With your eyes closed, I just want you to tell me what color this light is with your eyes closed. Eyes closed. What color is this light? Can you tell? Okay, that is green. How about now? Can you tell me what color this light? is red and one more color. Can you tell me what color the light is? Now. What color is the light? Now. Blue. Very good. Very good. Next, I'm going to read you just three sentences, but I need you to listen very, very closely to the sentences because I'm going to ask you questions about them afterwards, okay? It'll be really, really simple, I promise. Here's the sentence. Little Johnny turned eight years old today. For his birthday, he got a new bike, a toy lightsaber, and a Star Wars Lego set. He had his favorite food, tacos, for dinner, and he and his two best friends got to go to the movies afterward. So, here are your questions. How old is Johnny?
when is Johnny's birthday? Tell me one thing that Johnny got for his birthday. Okay. Can you tell me what Johnny's favorite food is? All right, very good. How many best friends does Johnny have? your inference skills. Can you tell me a movie that Johnny likely saw at the movie theater or would have enjoyed seeing at the movie theater? Excellent. Thank you very much. And now we have another I'm not sure if it's a favorite for you guys, but I really like this one. I'm going to do a little noise, a trigger, and if you hear my little scissors, I want you to add one in your head. If you hear I want you to add two in your head and if you hear I want you to add one in your head Okay? Great. Let's get started. have been six. I did a scissor, then a spritz, then a car tap, then another spritz. You've got one more round. Starting now. How many was that? Yes, that should be four. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. Okay. Next, we're breaking out. musical instrument. This one is really simple. I did this last time. I'm going to play two notes, two notes, two notes, and I want you to let me know if the second note is higher or if the second note is lower. Ready? Lower. 
next. I want you to tell me. Well, I have a few different brushes. I have this brush. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this brush is. I also don't remember where I got it from. But I have it. And I also have this comb. been used for a lot of things. And then I have a regular hairbrush. And I want you to tell me which brush is being used to comb the hair. Okay? Which brush did I use to comb brush the hair? Yes, it was the classic hairbrush. Now I'm going to break out the little brushes and I want you to tell me whether the brush is in your right or your left ear, okay? Or both. Ready? Which ear? Good. in the home stretch here. I want you to tell me, well, sorry, I'm going to say a word and then I want you to tell me the first word that pops into your head when I say this word. It could be what you associate with this word or these are all words that have a second. You'll see. So just let me know, okay? First word is camp. Good. I chose fire. Second word, ear. Good. I chose drum, ear drum. Third word, air. 
I chose Bender for some reason. Air Bender. Good. And I should have done more of those. On to the last page, the last few instructions. Okay. Now, today is National Shrimp Day, the day that I'm filming this. So, I am going to read you four, no, two facts about shrimp, and then one lie about shrimp. And I want you to tell me which one is the lie. Okay. Number one. So which one was the lie? If you guessed shrimp are omnivores, you would be incorrect. Shrimp are indeed omnivores. If you guessed, you know, shrimp can be more than 12 inches long, you would be incorrect. The lie was there are over 20 different species of shrimp. The fact is there are over 2,000 different species of shrimp spread over the world. Who knew, right? <laughs> Maybe you did. I didn't know. I wouldn't have believed you if you said 20. Anyways, next, with your eyes closed, of course, go ahead and guess how many pairs of gloves I'm putting on my hands. was that? It's the correct answer. There's three pairs of gloves I have on my hands right now. They are very tight.
next instruction is I'm going to randomly look up three dogs in one of my favorite books. Which dog you would like? Oh. Okay, dog number one is the Australian cattle dog. Very, very nice looking dog. Actually, your eyes are closed, so I can't show you. They are known for being very robust, healthy dogs, very long-lived. Their height, they can be 17 to 20 inches with a weight of 31 to 40 pounds. A lifespan of over 10 years. They are also classified as a working dog. And it says a hey, strong, hardy, and workmanlike. This trustworthy herding dog is a little wary of strangers. It has many merits as a friendly dog, but it has a lot of energy requirements and requires firm handling and plenty of mental stimulation. The next dog, like a random page. Oh, oh, look here, look here. We have a scent hound. Next, the Doberman Pinscher. This beautiful, sleek dog can not only have a black with the usual tan markings, but can be shades of blue, brown, and another uh, color it says Isabella, which looks like a pretty orange-red color. Now these dogs are a bit bigger than our last dog. They can weigh 66 to 88 pounds. They have a height of 26 to 27 inches and a lifespan of around 13 years. And it says this strong and graceful dog makes a loyal and obedient pet for an experienced and active owner. And my phone is about to die, so I'm gonna speed through this last dog. <laughs> We have the Warm Reiner, beautiful dog, if you don't know what this dog looks like. This dog is a beautiful, ghostly gray and has very pale eyes. They're very beautiful dogs, about the same size as a Doberman. Height, 22 to 27 inches, weight, 55 to 90 pounds, and a lifespan of 12 to 13 years. It says this elegant, unusually colored, and intelligent dog has boundless energy, so needs plenty of space to explore. So which one sounds like the right dog for you? If the Australian cattle dog, the Doberman, and the Warmer Reiner, which one sounds like the best fit? That's a great, great choice. All right, right? Well, I had two more instructions, but as I said, my phone is about to die. So I will go ahead and end it here. If you're still watching, listening, sorry I couldn't get you to fall asleep, but I really appreciate 
the view and um, you watching the whole video all the way through, that really helps the channel a lot. So if you enjoyed um, and want more of this type of content, there are four other ones out there on the channel waiting for you as well as a compilation of the first three. Thank you so much for being here and I hope sleep finds you very, very soon.